Alright, hello and welcome back to Let's Play Shovel Knight. So it's the beginning of the end as we enter the Tower of Fate, the entrance. Justice in spades. I'll never get tired of those little intros. So just like every good uh, Mega Man game... Oh, alright. There's a Dr. Wily sort of compilation stage at the end where... I mean, yeah, any Joker can go through and beat the uh, various knights as you go along, but can any Joker go back and... Well, maybe this Joker can't, but... Oh, only four checkpoints. So that seems not too bad. Of course, between those checkpoints is probably going to be the hardest stuff you'll ever see in a game. Because again, the game's kind of giving you a final test. It's like, hey, we know you think you beat the game, but are you really certified? to uh, say you beat the game. Oh, well, of course they're hidden. Well, actually, why would there not be hidden moles? But at least uh, we can see my shovel it all up in one go power up working just as intended. And so it looks like every single gimmick from all the previous nights is uh, coming into play, even if it was kind of a little annoying back in the day. But no matter, because we learned about them the first time when we played through their nights as levels. We could probably take it on this time. Probably. Oh. Of course. Cause cause gold doesn't regenerate, so why why would they be nice and give you more? That seems kind of ridiculous. Like, oh yeah, it's replenished. Yeah, right. It never replenishes. Okay, that was a teensy bit cheap because you couldn't really see what the platform was doing. Uh, let's take no chances. Let's take no chances. And uh carry on and dig that uh, background it probably looks terrible on your end because of the constant motion and the video encoding required but for me it looks quite fantastic oh I see yeah well I mean nobody said you had to make it through perfectly but like you'll, you'll make a few mistakes here and there oh oh man well I always thought the Griffin boss was not terribly threatening but uh and of course you can't pogo his head, but it makes for a relatively safe place to uh, charge up your slash jack, and he drops a bomb. Uh, honestly, I wasn't expecting the bomb, and I don't think I should have, but it's, it's a little annoying. They are just pulling out all the stops, but like, even the stops they probably should have pulled a little bit? Well, I don't know. I wonder if there are any secrets in this level. I uh, won't show you any of them, of course, but maybe you could dream of what they could possibly look like. Oh, when you die, you start from the beginning. We'll cut back to where it was. Oh, that's 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 pretty shit. <laughs> All right, and that takes care of that room. Oh, and there's a checkpoint just right there if I had been able to make it. So this tower is kind of a war of attrition, but on the bright side, I've got more than enough life to uh, win that battle. Alright. Oh, okay. So it's just kind of a... Uh, well, it's eerily reminiscent of the Mario Castles. It's eerily reminiscent of the Bowser boss stages in Super Mario World, like the Mario Castles, where you have to go through and... Uh, well, but... Like, occasionally there'll be sections like this, where, um, you have big, slow-moving platforms kind of closing off your way like this, and you've got to make your way through. Now, I don't think they would ever go so far as to, um, not show the sky, or, okay, not show the bottom. Like, usually, um, oh, that sucks. Also, I think these were in Super Mario World, or Super Mario 3. But it's fundamentally different in that, um... The Super Mario World ones, they would usually always have like a defined floor that you could just hang out on if you wanted, and then very occasionally at the very end, then uh, they would go for like floorless, kind of go on the platforms. Actually, they rarely did that so much. Still. Although, I, I'm just realizing this now, like I don't remember this from any other stage, so they are introducing new gimmicks. Well, depending on your definition of the word new. That being said, I'm not going to fault Shovel Knight for, um... Oh. 
Well, that's a little bit disappointing. I'm not gonna fault Shovel Knight for like not completely reinventing the wheel here. I mean, just being, if all you are is like the ultimate remaster of 2D platformers, then I mean, that's, that's not a bad thing to be. I mean, you do get a lot of brownie points for being the best singular example of everything. Even if you yourself don't necessarily bring anything new to the table. That being that said, Shovel Knight does kind of bring things to the table. Although I'd say it's more... It more brings things to the table in terms of like how precisely you mix all of these uh, disparate, seemingly disparate elements together. Oh, okay. Patience is not a virtue, but neither is sloth. Okay. And, oh. I guess foresight is not technically a virtue, but sometimes it's required. When I try something new, you get to die in a different way. All right, and we're back. Okay, jeez. Now it occurs to me the reason why these sorts of levels are so difficult is pretty much because they take advantage of humans have finite patience. And humans are inherently impatient creatures. And so by making everything go on cycles, you sort of enrage the human, and then eventually you can make them make some mistakes, and then that's about that. Uh, oh. So it looks like um, enemies at least play by the same rules, in that if they get crushed, then they die. But it also looks like gems play by the same rules, so if they get crushed, they disappear. And that is incredibly disappointing, especially because those guys are sending me a lot of gems. And also especially because all those times I died, uh, Papa needs more gold. And Papa is to get those life up still. Ah, I thought I could make it through that room perfectly. Of course, that's the easy room for the hard part of the easy room. Oh, okay. This this room isn't so bad. Now these cheating samurai guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, well. Hmm. I see you. It's it's not actually so bad, and I think that's because there's no patience, there's no require, there's no timing required. You you just go in and kill them. Oh, I see. That wasn't an isolated gimmick. They are going to be everywhere. But that's okay. We've been playing an entire game to practice our shovel knight skills. I'd say I'm pretty okay at this point. Maybe not great. Maybe not good, but okay. Like, I do legitimately believe I can beat this game. Well, if I couldn't though, would I have given up or what? I'm pretty sure I would have just kept trying and uh, cut out all the outtakes. So uh, every level cleared 20 minutes or less. Not 20 minutes of real time, but 20 minutes of YouTube time. Yeah, y y there's a certain point when you're doing a bad idea that like you realize no, this is actually a pretty bad idea. Oh, did you see that? I got through that room with no deaths. Ah. Oh. All right, we're back to the bow people room. Well, there's no. Oh, I see. Well, that's why you don't just rush in like some sort of fool with ants in the pants. Oh, how convenient. I can grab some of my gold. Ooh. Does it mean or did they spread out my gold to uh, significantly impair my attempts to collect it all again? It's not the final level for nothing. Oh, okay. How helpful. He moves into an area where he can't... So, uh... Just in case you were wondering, hey, took a look at that cannonball. Can we interact with it? Can we pogo off it? No, you can't actually interact with that cannonball. So the dev team does not think of everything. Okay. And it's an enemy that takes care of himself. All right, and we're back to the uh, trap door. So poke, poke, stop. Okay. I made it alive this time. Oh, this is going to be painful. Okay. That was pretty easy. Okay, 
So this room was very easy. I believe that's been three checkpoints. What could be next except boss rush? Oh, never mind. It's a cinematic uh, hallway battle. Man, that's pretty good at uh, dodging me, but... Oh, okay. And there are somewhere in the background. Oh. Hmm. This seems weird. What exactly is the way out of here? And also, how many consequences are there for dying? Oh, I see. Okay. Well, that wasn't so hard, although... I mean, there's a reason why Shovel Knight has uh, graphics enabled by default. And... right. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. I figured they'd trick you, because it's about time they give you a healing eye. That's just a dirty trick. That's not even a clean trick, that's a dirty trick. I'm calling it right now. Shovel Knight gets cheap right now. They're like, hey, you had your fun with the knights. You gotta see, like, 70% of the content in this game. Now, uh, we're gonna keep the, uh, other 90... other 130% of your content until you're really good at the game. Or at least, regular good at the game. Alright, so there's a hidden wall here. That wasn't our problem. Our problem is some of these platforms- Oh, that's a dirty trick! Well, also the the, pan the poltergeist's wind blow was also a dirty trick, but I'll explain what's happening when we get back there. Alright, and we're back. So just in case you can't quite see what's happening, so here I'm safe. If I jump on that other platform, then I would die. And you want to know what the trick is? Look where the rain is. Now, for you on, sh on the YouTube stream, it's probably a little bit hard to see, but uh, you can see rain pooling on certain platforms, but not on others. Oh, so the word graphics the whole time. I mean, I, I knew that, but it's just more painful. Black Knight? We did all that nonsense for Black Knight? I was expecting to fight every single knight individually, not just Black Knight. What? Bla Black Knight finally decided to join. Black Knight's... Oh, I thought I thought Black Knight was all like all about joining up with the Enchantress, but I guess not. Is is Black Knight a friend? Is Black Knight Shield Knight in disguise? So much nonsense. Is, has he been possessed? What is okay? Then again, do I really need to know anything? I just need to know. I've got fireballs. I've got a shovel. I've got pogos. Those are my tools. This is my canvas. I guess, in a way, Shovel Knight is a painter using- Oh, that's kind of neat. I mean, not for me, but for him. I don't know. Haven't you always wanted wings? Oh. Man, I'm getting flashbacks to Dino Run, that flash game. Okay. I mean, I think we're doing fine in health, but this is surprisingly close for a Shovel Knight battle, for a, uh, Black Knight battle. Like, usually I'm just clobbering Black Knight left and right. Well, speaking of clobbering Black Knight left and right... Oh. Alright. So that was a nice warm-up. Where's the real boss? Oh, Black Knight also knew Shield Knight? The, the plot, it thickens. They didn't explain that in the intro. Or maybe they did. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, so there is no... There is no real boss. That was the real boss. Oh, wait. That's interesting. So this one is called Entrance. This one is called Ascent. I will bet you right here and now... There will be a third tower, with another third catchy subtitle. So, when we get there, then we'll challenge it. But until then, this cat's gotta scat.